Hello everyone, welcome back to American Truck Some Letter. This is going to be a little bit of a longer run, guys. I couldn't find nothing, no shorter up here where I'm at. We're going down to uh, Arizona. We got, we're in a Freightliner Classic um, mod. I do believe this is Odd Fellows mod. It has been updated for 1.8. Uh, his Freightliner Classic, great looking truck. So let's get on the road. As you can see, the only problem that I see with this truck is the oil light is on in it. That's something that was not fixed when it was up there. Um, it does have uh, working windows, animated windows. And we are running a, a Detroit diesel, 600 horsepower today. We got a long trip ahead of us, so let's get on the road. I've always liked the look of a Freightliner Classic. So every when I see a mod come out of one of these trucks, I do jump on it. We got a cross here just in time. So how's everybody doing? Hope everybody's enjoying what we're doing. I really don't want. I really want to get in here and start doing more. I'm. Uh, I am determined to get do more. I am working on some modded issues over here for ATS. I'm looking at some things, see what's going on. Just made a video of ETS two. I just noticed the shifter thing is not working over there. It shows what gear you're in. Hmm. That was working. Maybe another truck interfering with it. I'll have to look at that. Some of these mighty trucks, you know, guys, you have to put up toward the top because they'll, uh, you'll have problems with them, you know, of your mod list. It's about 6.30 uh, in the morning, so we'll, we got a long trip ahead of us. We'll go ahead and close that map up. We don't need that on. Okay, the train is disappearing. That is a new one. Have not seen that before. I don't know if it's going to stop. Okay. I have not seen, never seen that problem before. I mean, I need to look at my mod and see maybe one of my mods I'm running maybe called. Yeah, this, this truck sounds really good. That's the only problem that I see with this mod is that oil light is on. I, I don't know why it wasn't fixed when it was updated. Um, I do not have track on, so I don't. I had to use the uh, the mirrors for that reason. turn the lights off. I think we're going to get a thumbnail very soon. Yeah guys, but when I see the, one of these trucks right here, it's been that big because I love the look of a Freightline Classic. It's a great, it's probably one of the best looking Freightlines I've made with a Classic. Uh, working. I don't know 
what that was all about. I'd say that Detroit Diesel does sound good. So how's everybody doing? I hope everybody's enjoying the videos. I got more things planned guys um, I don't know about flight simulator I am still looking at it um, I'm not a flight simulator person I've never really played one I have been working on it practicing and stuff like that but honestly I'm not that good at it I can't see that red line so let me pop that up so I can see that Said we hit a car, I don't know where. Exit left. We gotta go across the scale. Stay in this lane. Reroute. All right, we weighed seventy one thousand three hundred forty pounds. I'm using a traffic mod guys so that's making the traffic a lot more a lot better it's working really good though okay he slowed down like he's gonna let us out then he uh, took, took up I'm not using any of Jazzy Cat stuff. I had really bad stutters when I was using that, so I had to take it out. on a run this far but I couldn't find one no shorter for where I was at. He would not uh, give me a shorter run so I had to make I had to do this one Bye, Joe. 
doing the videos and and stuff like that. Hope you're enjoying it. I, I really do want, do want to get here and do more things. I'm always looking for more things to do. If even older games, you know, even even older titles to uh, to check out, you know, play, bring stuff over here. You guys have seen. I'm, I'm always looking. Um, I do do a lot of this, and I do. I, I know I do. And uh, this game will not be going nowhere for me. We did remove the MHJ Pro map. Um, I also had to remove it off on EKS too. I had some texture issues with MHJ Pro map, so I have. I, mean, I had to remove it. Let's go ahead and get a thumbnail of this truck. Go ahead and do that real quick. No, that's not it. Hit the wrong thing. There we go. Get a thumbnail of this Freightliner. Oh, yeah. I think that'll be a good one. Something a little different. All right. Get back on the road now. Um, guys, I, one thing I want to say is, if anyone can tell me about what's going on with the graphics for this game, I, I really don't know. This and ETS2 both is... There's something going on when you start, you have to go back and reset your graphics to where you had it left. Um, every time you start the game, you have to go back and redo your graphics. I don't know what that is, what's causing it. I run this at max, and when I come back in, after playing it, it's not there. Got some other videos I will be doing over here. There's a lot of neat trucks that's come out about that I really want to look at. I'm not really into a lot of the fully customization types of trucks. Um, I do run them, but this one right here is a great mod. I've always, like I, like I've said already said three or four times, I've always loved the look of this of these Freightliners, these classes. So when I see one that's updated, I, I do jump on it because I always like to look at these trucks. The classics, the FLBs and FLCs, and the FLDs. Well, now the B is a cab over, but still a good looking truck. Who oh, foggy today? Made some major changes over on LSPDFR. Um, was ha was really getting tired of the problem of uh, the jurisdiction problem that I've been having. The old jurisdiction mod that I was using is not working anymore since the last update. It will not work. I, you know, done everything I could think to do to it, and it would not work. So I've added some custom, some more slots to my game. For police vehicles and that gave me the opportunity to go in and fix it like I want it but I don't have this issue where cars spawning uh, with multiple liberties showing up in the wrong area all that type of stuff every department has their own cars and their own liberties and I don't have that issue no more and that's the way I like it. I don't want to see a car spawn down there like in the city that has a has a Sheriff Liberty but it's a highway patrol driver. No. One good thing. 
thing about it is too <coughs> now these are vehicles these add-ons that I had to add on and you have to spawn them on the train but they also do spawn into the game for the agency so you do see them on the road they are patrolling them in these custom slots and that's something that I that I enjoy I, I like that you know like I said it gives everybody their own department their own cars we don't have that issue that we used to have and I'm still doing a little bit of testing I you know I did remove uh, two trucks that I had in, uh, unmarked pickup trucks, and added a couple, because I think that the city, that the city and the state is the two biggest areas, you know, I mean, technically, they're both the biggest part of the map, Los Santos, and the whole state of San Andreas, so the biggest part of the map, so I think they should have the most cars, so I did add two, I did remove two of my trucks, on my uh, pickups that I had and um, put two more vehicles in there for the city. I'm going to be looking at it to see before I make a video if I, if I want to do that. I may, uh, I, there's two SUVs, I may take one of the SUVs out and put a car in there. Not positive yet, I'm going to look into that and see exactly what, what I want to do. And each department has their own, is, is using a different car pack. Uh, the airport police, unfortunately, I only had room for one Mark vehicle. That's okay. I mean, it's a small area. I think one would do. We have a march down there. So, you know, I think that'll work good. In Port Authority, you know, one vehicle. Quite a drive here. Yeah, we still got 400, about 490 miles. I wonder if it's going to keep us on the interstate the whole way. So let's take a look at that real quick and see if that's what it's going to do. Let's see here. I'm going to open up the map here. It's going to... No, actually it's not. It's going to make us go down um, 59. Okay. Go back and get that. And then we'll go down past Flagstaff. Okay. So we're not going to stay in the interstate the whole time. We're going to be, uh... Changing. For the pick now. Okay. Want to check that out. And I will be making a video. I, like, I got some neat stuff coming up with LSPDFR that I want to do. Another thing, too, I did add another bike to LSPDFR. Um, that way, you know, the, the departments have their own bikes. So you don't now the liberty is different for the bike um, from the city. It's different for the bike uh, for the sheriff's department, but you know, it's their own bike. They bike for the sheriff's department's a BMW. It just says sheriff on it. That works. Um, I don't have a BMW bike sound. I need to see if there's one out there that I can use. I'm having to use the Harley Davidson sound that the the fall of. Uh, sound that comes with the bike in GTA 5 for, for now until I can find a bike BMW song.
should have put that GPS down here. I wouldn't even think about it when I put it up there. Um, guys, I did just, I, I, I don't know if I did say, but I did make a video of ETS-2 using the new, the, the, the Freightliner FLC that just come out. Great modding truck. Really, and I do have it over here. I haven't run it over here. I do have the mod, um, but a, a great truck. And for a freeware truck, really well done. I mean, it's, I really do enjoy and like the truck. Seeing those texture issues, so I may have to look uh, at the real company mod over here and see one of these real company mod may be causing that problem. I'd look into that because I'm still seeing those issues. with this mod right now is that all white. That all white was all it'd be a great it, I mean there's nothing wrong with driving it it's still it's, it's fine. It's just all white you know. Uh, Detroit diesel, it will, it will it'll get up and move. It don't slay. This 600 horsepower engine in this truck. see them doing this game too guys like buildings like that back there. I might see those buildings finished I mean there's buildings in this game that's been in this game since this game come out they're still not finished they're still just sitting out like that I would like to see them add a process in the game to where it, over time the buildings are finished there's other games out there that does that and I think that's something they should, that they should do here go straight on
Turn right. We're getting on the fifty nine. Good to see some back roads for a little while. It's kind of being quiet, looking at the beautiful sights of this game, listening to that Detroit diesel. Right. do this for free and Third these left. mods get stolen from people that has no business taking them in the first place and then they put them on different sites now like it's like this one here I mean I downloaded this off of a mod site now I don't know if this is actually coming from their original person that made this truck I know it's on a mod site so how would I know that but what, what, I'm, what I want to say is that if you're still in mods from someone, stop. Because you're, in, you're hurting everyone that plays this game, that enjoys the game, that enjoys the mods, that enjoys these trucks. Because a lot of these modders, they do this for free. They, they do this in uh, their spare time, they do it for hire. They're not charging you for their truck, they're not charging you uh, to drive. There is paid mods out there, there's free mods. And uh, as like this right here, this is a free mod. Now, if an odd fellow would give the authority to update this truck and put it in, in for 1.8, I don't know that. I don't know him. So, I can't say that. I can say that I downloaded it off of a mod site, I seem to have been updated, and I'm driving. That's all I can say. But if you're 
If you're still in mods and you for your own pleasure, stop. You know, and, and it's not just this game. I mean, any game that uses mods. This has been an issue for years. I mean, as long as mods have been out there. This has been an issue. And it needs to stop. I mean, you, you need to appreciate what people does for you, especially when they're doing it for nothing. When they're not charging you for something like this, this truck here, when obviously this truck is a well done truck. Um, don't be taking advantage of it by stealing it and putting it on the side when you have no business doing it in the first place. You know, and, and it's just like, you know, it's like LSPD and Bar. It's no secret that I play LSPD and Bar. And uh, we've had great modders, like over here, that's left. That's what making car packs and, and textures and, you know, and all that stuff because of the modders. Because the people that just come in and stole their stuff, they took credit for it. You know, one, the, one of the texture packs that I was using, you know, used for a long time. Of my Blaine County cars, it was took down because the person that made it was uh, someone who was taking credit for, it. and uh, he got tired of it, and so he took it down. And I don't blame him. I mean, it, you know, it's his work. He put in the time. He put in the effort to make it. It's his mind. You know, you should not be uh, stealing somebody else's work. If you didn't do it, you know, don't put your name on something that's not yours. Now, and, you know, if he comes to you and says, hey, you know, it's okay to do it, you know, then do it. But, you know, don't say that you had something to do with it and it's not yours. I mean, we, we've lost models over here for the same reason, you know, uh, a texture modder, a tr uh, someone that makes trucks. Um, you know, there, there's a lot of trucks out there right now that's really good mods that don't work anymore. From the older versions of this game, and the reason why they don't work is for that reason. The modders got tired of people taking advantage of their mod, putting their name on it, putting it on different sites it shouldn't be on. They got tired of it, you know, so they quit doing it. And that's not what you need to do. You need to enjoy the game for what it is, enjoy what you have, and uh, use it. And, and, and no one's forced me to use the, the truck. It's like this truck here. No one forced me to use this truck. I've always liked liberal freight line plastic. I said it had been updated, so I downloaded it. No one told me I had to download it. And no one's telling you you got to download it. Finding a new route. I mean, I, I don't know, it's one of those things that's been going on for years that needs to stop. We weighed 70,934 pounds. I mean, because mods is what makes this game what it is. I mean, you know, you know just be honest, it, it really does. It, it makes this game what it is. I mean, SCS, is, they've done, they're doing a lot better, you know, they're, they're doing a lot better, you know, we're bringing more trucks out, getting the states out quicker, and, and you know, and, and hats off to them, they, they deserve all the credit they're getting, I mean, they do, because what they're doing is great, I mean, the, the states look great, the, you know, everything they're doing, is, they're doing so much better, um, but, you know, mods is what, what keeps this game going. As far as trucks and because a truck like this right here, you'll never see SCS make. They won't never make a truck like this. That 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 won't happen. You know, and you're gonna get those comments why? Well, because Freightliner it's not gonna let them make a truck like this. Freightliner is gonna let them tell them, okay, you wanna put our truck in the game, we're gonna put the new truck in the game, which is the Cascade. They're not gonna say no. We, we don't want to. We don't want a uh, Freightliner Classic. 
you know, that's that, that's too old. We don't want to. That's what they're gonna do. So, modders is what makes these trucks possible. Well, we're not doing bad. We got 219 miles to go. We're gonna get fuel though. My group pages that I have, you know, they're always talking about trucks coming, ATS and SS making, you know, we, we know that the Western Star is the next truck. Well, you know, the thing about Western Star is Western Star is owned by Freeman. So a lot of the technology that you see in the Cascadia, you see in a Western Star. I mean... And, you know, people talking about trucks like this, Cabo, something like this. You never see it from them. Unless the you know these manufacturers break down and actually let them do it. I mean, but I, I don't see that happening. Because this truck is not they don't make this truck no more. So it would not benefit Freightliner for them to put this truck in the game. Because they wouldn't they wouldn't make no money on it. Get some fuel. I'm leaving that map up for now right now, guys. I, I need it up so I can see when there's a fuel stop coming up. Where I can get some fuel. There's a fuel. Oh, good. There's one right up here. So we should be able to make it there. We're not too far away. So Detroit Diesel eats some fuel. And, and, and I don't want to spend the rest of the video talking about this but it, this is just something that this happens every once in a while it, you know it, it comes up you know somebody else still somebody else's mod you know the modder gets tired of them and they'll quit you know do it it's not just this game it's it's all any game that has mods has this issue and it needs to stop I mean you have a lot, a lot with LSPD par. I play LSPD par. You know, there's no secret to that. You have monitors over there. It's um, 
the same way. And you have moderns up there, you know, they, they quit doing it because of Rockstar. You know. The company makes the game. I mean, so it, it's, it's no... Okay, how do we get... be fixed too you know, with this is they need the the GPS needs to know when you're at truck stop stuff like that knowing that you're getting fuel or whatever And fill her up. Yeah, guys, that's the only issue with this truck is you can see the oil lights on it. That's. I, I really wish she wasn't there, but you know, it's okay. Still glad to see that the truck does work. And we're probably gonna have to. No, we can't. We're loaded up with fuel. We're ready to go. Okay, get a new fuel drop. Let me remove that place on the mount now. Out here on the road, we'll turn that map back off now. Just had it up so we get some fuel. But I'm not going to say anything else about that, guys. It, it just it aggravates me because I mean that's something that I wouldn't do. If it's not my word, I'm not going to take credit for something that's not mine. You know, that I didn't do. And no one else should. Because it's wrong. What you can do. Sit back and enjoy the beautiful drive and listen to this, uh, this Detroit do its work.
I do love this to get these back road runs like this sometimes, you know. That's uh, one thing is, you know, really being a thing with ATS since the you know, some of the last these updates is, is you really never get no back road runs like this. Most of everything that you do is, unless you reroute yourself to go down these back roads, most everything that you do is, uh, is on the interstate. Sometimes you don't want to be on the interstate. You want to be on these back roads and look at the sights, you know, on the mountains and stuff like that, you know, enjoying it. I can always say, though, this is a beautiful simulator. This game is amazing. some other stuff too but honestly I was going to do some different types of videos with GTA I don't know if my GTA will handle that because when you're using Ray's plug and hook sometimes Ray's plug and hook will if you, if you try to start doing other types of stuff with running with Ray's plug and hook it'll crash you know that that is a big issue with Ray's plug and hook Oh, there's some stutter. I ain't seen that. This is actually Arizona, but we're not. There's been a lot of reports of right. stuttering going on in Iowa and Idaho. I haven't had, really had no stuttering over there, but I'm getting some here, which is very unusual. There's an Arizona State Trooper sitting there. about these stutters I mean there like I said there's been uh, a lot of on the steam page and stuff a lot of people are saying that they're getting them Ooh, and we just hit that pole yep I'm a terrible driver today be back up been doing good it's because of all this traffic There's always something with these traffic mods too. There we go. I need to cut lots sharper than what I did, you know, out a lot wider. 
And I couldn't because of the traffic. Oh, I love to see that tire in there.
guys. I'm sorry for the pop-ups up there. I need to figure out how to turn that off. That's a uh, friend signing on the screen. Signing into the game. There's another little lag. A little spike here. Yeah, I'm going to look at that and see what that is. I know there's a lot of notes out there saying that really lately the game has just been really, really laggy. I haven't been seeing that though. I mean, I've been seeing little spots like that where you get a little bit of a, a little bit of a lag. So I think the issue that I'm having is a mod. See him. Right in that corner of the truck sitting on the road sideways. Oh, hey, hey, what's going on? <laughs> Keep left and then turn left. Oh. You yeah, never got to move that mouth. We're in Flagstaff. We got 92 miles to go. vegetation mod and a road mod and some different mods with it. I wonder if that may be called. Because I don't get that in ETS too. I might use it. Might 
really go through the mozlets and clean it out and see what's uh, what, what makes the game run better. That's something that I really do. I need to look at. that map up. We're like 50 miles out of my drop. And like I said, not only I don't run a load this far, but I have no choice. Uh, there was nothing, no closer in that area when I dropped the, but I had run a load up there and dropped the load up there. And when I went to pick up another one, there was really nowhere in that area there was anything any closer. We had run a long one. just always mostly drove the SCS stuff because I don't have the issues with those trucks as I do a lot of some of these modded trucks. Um, but some trucks like this I, I, I enjoy. I mean I enjoy these. Obviously you know Viper's truck is a truck that I enjoy. Like I already said, you know, when I see this Freightliner Classic, and I've always liked to look at the Freightliner Classic on the side, I had it out there. Green Camp Verde. It's off at Costco.
come on, we're not gonna skip a, a drop. What's the matter with you? We're gonna back this trailer in here. So we can get a look at this uh, beautiful truck. Alright, we drove excellent. We drove 872 miles. It took us 17 hours and 24 minutes to get here. We consumed 119 gallons of fuel. Which is about normal for a trip that long. We got some fruit. I don't know why they got that in a reaper trailer. It's not frozen fruit. So we're going to change that. Giving us the option. Maybe it is frozen. It doesn't say frozen though. Because the only thing to give us is reefer trailer. Okay, then we'll leave it like it is. It doesn't say frozen. Costco to Walmart. A little trouble too. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. This was a longer run than I expected. Uh, but I wanted to get in here and do a run and, uh, with this Freightliner uh, Classic. I do absolutely love the look of this truck, as I've already said many times. Um, so thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Have a good day.